Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about optimizing file storage for your use case. I'm Tad Hunt and I manage the file storage portfolio in Google Cloud. I have a few goals for this talk. First, you walk away with an understanding that Google Cloud is ready for your applications that need file storage. Second, if you're migrating file workloads to cloud, you understand that you don't have to re-architect for alternative storage solutions. Correspondingly, if you are running workloads in cloud that might benefit from file, you know now know how to take advantage of it. And finally, this knowledge enables you to simplify and accelerate your public cloud journey. We're gonna, to set some early context so you can get the most out of your time, we'll start with an overview of why file is important, then deep dive into file store and a couple of key file partnerships, and then we'll wrap it up by tying it all together. So first, the file landscape. So let's start by answering the question, where do I store my data? In the taxonomy of storage systems, we generally break it down into structured, i.e. databases, and unstructured storage systems generally file, block, and object. File storage is generally focused on unstructured data storage problems and is critically important for enterprise applications like SAP, infrastructure like VMware, and all sorts of things in between. Since this is an intermediate level talk, I'm going to assume you're somewhat familiar with shared file storage, commonly known as NAS, or Network Attached Storage. If you've made it this far, chances are that you have a file storage problem that you need to solve in GCP. So we will be focusing on file capabilities, use cases, and workloads. It all starts here. Shared file systems are the, are the arteries of enterprise applications. When the public cloud was born, it didn't have traditional file services. It had brand new cool stuff like object storage, which enabled brand new use cases and application architectures. But lack of shared file services meant that it, the cloud just was not ready for most enterprise applications. Today, Google Cloud is ready. We offer a mature set of file storage services, both natively and from industry leading partners. Look, we all know that file workloads are incredibly varied, and as a consequence, there's not a single best file storage solution for all use cases. This view you see here is one way to slice and dice it. Sometimes GCP's offering, File Store, will be the best choice, and sometimes it'll be a partner offering. For these reasons, we're committed to supporting a strong partner ecosystem. Eliminating friction from cloud migrations often means providing the same tools in the cloud as customers are already using on-premise, usually due to the advanced features their applications depend on. Our partners complement File Store with things like extreme scale out capacity and performance, rich and deep feature sets with long histories baked deeply into enterprise infrastructure, support for hybrid cloud and container storage, the ability to stitch together many distributed sites, and of course, there's many more. We believe that a capable Google offering coupled with a strong partner ecosystem recruits the best expertise across the industry to solve the problems you care about. The end result is you get the best solution for your problem. And we can't hope to cover everything today, so we're gonna focus on a few examples where some of these different solutions excel. So that's the landscape. Next, let's dive into how File Store fits. Let's start with how one of our File Store customers is leveraging File Store to enable their business. File Store has been generally available since April 2019, and Flywheel has been along for the ride. They're huge fans because their WordPress hosting business depends on reliable and performant file storage. File Store provides that, while simultaneously enabling Flywheel to get out of the storage infrastructure management business. What is File Store good at? So more than this, of course, but some of the key workloads that we've already tuned File Store are media rendering, application migrations, web content management, which is what Flywheel is doing, media processing, and uh, software development and testing. So how do we help customers like Flywheel, or for that matter you, focus on your business? We make it easy to pick the right file store tier for your workload by offering two flavors. First, we have File Store Basic, which is generally available and has been since April 2019. And we just launched File Store High Scale uh, to beta in June. So just uh, you know, not too long ago if you're watching this in July. Uh, so File Store Basic is optimized for enterprise workloads that don't have large capacity and performance demands, but they do require enterprise class reliability. Whereas high scale is optimized for use when performance and scalability are really critical to your applications. Uh, you may be aware that last August we acquired a company called Elastifile. High scale is our first file store product built by the integrated team and it's based on the Elastifile file system. So let's talk for a minute about performance. File store offers great latency, IOPS, and throughput. As I like to say, the trifecta of storage performance. Equally as important, not only do you get great performance, but you get consistent performance too. This enables predictability for your applications. We offer three file store performance tiers to optimize for workloads with different performance needs. For example, if your workload is a low traffic enterprise app, say a web app with low usage, you might deploy a file store basic instance. 
uh, HDD instance. On the other hand, maybe you have a render farm built on preemptible VMs with thousands of nodes and 10,000s of cores. You might pick high scale to minimize your render times. Or maybe your, your app is somewhere in between. Maybe you're an intense random read or re random write workload, but you've only got a few clients, maybe like a Mon Monte Carlo simulation for a single user. Maybe that is the right signal to pick file store basic SSD uh, in order to get the maximum single client IOPS. So we didn't just make file store fast. We also made it simple to reason about the price and the performance that you get. When performance and capacity are the key needs, file store high scale fits the bill. For those of you, with advanced file system knowledge, file store basic is a scale up architecture while file store high scale is a scale out architecture. What this means is that high scale performance scales linearly with capacity and it can handle enormous number of clients. With all of our file store tiers, you just pick a tier and a size at creation time so that you know immediately what your performance characteristics are. And since we don't charge per operation fees, you also know immediately what your spend will be. And we even show you an estimate in the console. So, Harvard selected the Elastifile-based Google File Store for its extremely powerful performance, customization capabilities, and simplicity of use. This is an example of where File Store HighScale has helped Harvard with COVID-19 research. They've been doing virtual screening of potential COVID-19 treatments and have found some promising candidates through this research. We've got a really extensive write-up about this on our launch blog that's linked here. This is a good example of a batch compute workload where File Store's scale-out performance helps with high-throughput computing work. Which is kind of a good segue into our tech specs since we're getting a little bit technical anyway. First, I'm gonna cover kind of you know, a, a gestalt of what I'm showing you here. I'm not gonna read, uh, re just read the slide to you. So first, File Store is a zonal service. It offers an SLA of three nines uh, for the basic tiers, which when high scale launches to GA will also match uh, in high scale. With File Store Basic, you can grow up to 64T and high scale that extends that up to 320T. Uh, you don't have to start with a large filer because for all of these uh, variants of file store, you can actually grow online with no downtime uh, on demand. Uh, for protocol support, we've got you covered with NFS, which is kind of the Linux you know, industry leading protocol. Uh, we also include file locking, and this is true across all tiers. Uh, I would say generally NFS can sometimes work for Microsoft Windows workloads, uh, but most of the time we would recommend a partner offering, and I'll talk about that a little bit later if you have a Windows workload. Uh, this is a Google product, so you get kind of Google grade encryption and uh, you know security, you know including encryption at rest. Uh, we also recently rolled out beta support for per IP range NFS security controls. Uh, if you're an NFS expert, um, this next what I'm about to say will mean something to you, otherwise you'll be like, eh? Uh, so anyway, when NFS has the ability to set this thing called root squash, and, uh, and of course read-only export modes I think is pretty explanatory. Root squash is a user ID mapping so that you can make sure that root on the client is not allowed to access the file system and do some remapping there. Um, we're also integrated with Stackdriver, which enables you to set up alerts, for example, if free space gets too low or you you deleted a bunch of data and you realize you're wasting a, you know, a lot of space. Uh, and also when you have application performance issues, we have a whole host of IO metrics that you can look at to help you identify why your applications might be performing as well as, as they should be. Finally, there's three ways to configure and manage file store. You can do it through the command line, through the, the standard Google Cloud API, and of course, we've got the web console. Um, this is obviously a brief overview of, of what File Store offers, so check out our docs at the link here for, for more details. Moving on from the core file features, I want to talk about some of the integrations. Uh, some of the highlights here are for Compute Engine, we support pre fully support preemptible VMs, uh, which are commonly used to optimize cost for batch workloads. In Kubernetes Engine, we you can use File Store automatically and configure it automatically through the native NFS plugins. Uh, through the CSI interface as well. Uh, on the networking side, File Store is peered with your VPC network, and that enables you to access it uh, from authorized clients on that network. Uh, and then based on the IP access control feature I mentioned on the prior slide, you can further restrict which of those VMs on your VPC are allowed to access it. We talked about Stackdriver already. And then last but not least, for the config as code and the uh, infrastructure as code, uh, models where that many enterprises are, are using today were integrated with Deployment Manager and Terraform. So moving on, um, 
All right, so let's say that your workload fits into one of the file store tiers. You know, you've decided that, you've checked it out, it seems to fit the bill. One of the next things on your mind is probably, is it where I should, you know, can I put, where do I have to put my app to take advantage of it? For file store basic, the answer is anywhere Google Cloud has a region, uh, you, you can use it there. We're in all the regions. For high scale, we just launched and we're already in one region in each of the US, uh, European and Asian markets. Uh, and we'll, uh, you know, as the product matures, we'll of course uh, show up in more places. Uh, I should note that this is the point in time view from July 2020. If you're watching this in the far future and you need high scale in a region not listed here, you know, check out the docs. You know, chances are things have changed. Uh, at any point in time, uh, if you do think that high scale is what you need and it's not available and you need it, please just reach out to your account manager to discuss options. They can get in touch with me and my team and, uh, and we can probably uh, hook you up. I'm gonna wrap up the file store section by just briefly covering a couple of backup partner integrations and then we're gonna move on to other file partner integrations. Uh, the first is Actifio Sky, which provides application consistent backup and recovery. And here's some information and some links for you to check out more. And then we'll move on to Commvault, uh, which is designed to protect data residing in Cloud File Store and many other, you know, their Commvault and Actifio are both very well-known um, partner offerings for, for backups. Um, Commvault enables efficient and secure backups via their compression, deduplication, and encryption engines, and, and they enable recovery uh, to any Cloud File Store instance, or you can even restore uh, your data directly to any Windows or Linux computers. And that about wraps it up for uh, File Store before we move on to talk about our file partnerships. Uh, the links here will help, jump, help you jump in to get started with provisioning and managing any of your File Store instances. So moving on to file partners, as I mentioned in the landscape section, we integrate with partners for a wide range of use cases. And that means we work with way too many partners that, for me to cover in uh, one, uh, one overview video. For this talk, I'll focus on Dell, EMC, and NetApp because these are the two partners we've integrated most deeply into the platform. So for example, they're integrated directly into our cloud console for provisioning and managing of your file systems. They're integrated into cloud billing, so you get a single bill from Google with everything on it. And they're integrated with cloud support, so you don't have to guess at who to reach out to if you have an issue. You just contact us like, uh, like you would for anything else. Um, if your use case doesn't seem to be covered by Dell or NetApp, uh, for example, you might have a low latency HPC workload that relies on Lustre, or uh, maybe you have a branch office workload uh, where you've got a, you know, a thousand branch offices that all need access to the same uh, file for collaboration, or anything else that File Store or one of these two partners doesn't seem to be a good fit for, please reach out to us through your account manager and we'll, you know, we have a, uh, like I mentioned before, we'll help you get started with the right solution. Uh, so let's jump in with Dell's new offering. Previously, you might've known this, uh, this next product I'm gonna describe as Isilon or OneFS, but Dell just went through a rebranding exercise to bring the, all of the EMC product branding in line with the rest of the Dell ecosystem. And going forward, it's now just called PowerScale. Still the same goodness inside, just with a new name. So PowerScale for Google Cloud launched to general availability uh, just a couple of months ago, this past May. It provides an enterprise class native cloud experience for enabling organizations to accelerate innovation for high performance applications, such as analytics, media and entertainment, and life sciences. PowerScale is built on the mature Isilon 1FS file system, and all of its capabilities are now available in GCP. Additionally, the fact that this is a managed service brings some things you don't get on-premises. Namely, you get an SLA, experts from Google and Dell who manage the service, so you don't have to, and you're built only for what you use. You don't have to pre-buy a whole bunch of space like you do on-prem because hard drives are large. Uh, for more information or how to get started, you, know, you can visit the link here uh, or you know, just search Google works pretty well too. That's, uh, this is gonna be a really brief overview of these, these couple of partners. So next up, we're gonna dive into NetApp. Uh, Dell has one really big offering and NetApp really has two offerings. They have Cloud Volume Service, and we'll talk about that, and Cloud Volumes on tap. One is a managed service and one is a self-managed solution. We're gonna start with Cloud Volume Service. Cloud Volume Service has been GA since October 2019, and it's a fully managed storage solution delivering high performance and low latency for application workloads such as SAP HANA, Google Cloud VMware Engine, and Microsoft Windows. If you notice, if you remember from before when I said file store is not great for Microsoft Windows workloads, you know, one of these partner offerings uh, is they both have very, very mature Microsoft Windows stacks. Uh, that protocol is called SMB, so they have very mature SMB stacks. 
So NetApp Cloud Volume Service was designed with the application owner in mind. It looks and feels like a native Google service, including the integrations into the console, the billing, and support that I mentioned before. And then in addition to that, it has three different price performance tiers, as well as the ability to scale performance dynamically up and down with your application and user requirements. This ensures that your application is right sized through its development, test, and production lifecycle. Additionally, it comes with an SLA of three nines, which means it's ready for your production use cases. Uh, and then here's the link to get uh, more information or to get started. Uh, NetApp's second service is called Cloud Volumes on Tap. So when your needs extend beyond the capabilities of Cloud Volume Service, the product I just talked about, NetApp also offers Cloud Volumes on Tap as a self-managed storage solution. So it delivers nearly the entire set of storage management and data optimization capabilities available to your on-prem, you know, to on-premise NetApp on Tap users today. So if you're coming from on-premise and, you, and you're already relying on a lot of NetApp features, this might be a good off offering uh, for you. It's really designed for storage administrators that are familiar with the NetApp ONTAP operating system. It provides a seamless method to accelerate migration of the, your on-premise application workloads, as well as ensure your on-premise data is protected safely in the cloud for archive and disaster recovery use cases. Uh, again, for more information or to get started, check out this link here. And that kind of brings us to the end. At this point, we're going to wrap it up. So, you know, going back to the, the intro, you know, tying it all together, shared file systems are the arteries of enterprise applications. And everything we've covered can be boiled down to the fact that GCP is ready for these workloads. I started with my goals for this talk, which are that you walk away understanding that not only have Google Cloud's file capabilities matured, but now you have some idea of how to leverage them to simplify and accelerate your public cloud file storage journey. Thank you. I hope this talk has helped light the path. Thanks for your time.